snow got us. <laughs> it's early. It feels so early in the year for this. So what we're up to this morning is we need to get the cistern full of water so that we can see if there's any leaks anywhere before we start backfilling. So um, we don't have a way to pressure test the lines, but we can put water in it. It is what it is. <laughs> and uh, if the water leaks, then it needs to be fixed. And if not, it's good to go. So the snow was not ideal. Just yeah, gonna put that out there. Makes everything a bit harder. <laughs> so we're gonna put a tank in the back of the truck and just start going to a creek and coming back. Okay, that stays on for the day. <laughs> Is that ever crazy? We're pumping two days ago. Now look at it. It's frozen? No, I mean like our, our water line. What a quick transition. So there's this lovely little stream right off the side of the road to get to our place. And uh, it's got some nice water in it, so this is the one we're going to be using. It is a shame that it's so far away, but what can you do?
still snowing and snowing since sometime last night and it's one o'clock now. Alright, our last round for today. It's not going to fill the cistern, but we're cold and wet and hungry and we need to get these lines covered. So this, this final uh, tank of water will be enough to fill up the water lines. So we'll be able to make sure everything's good and get them buried before it's too late. Because <laughs> if we don't bury them soon, we're going to be in really big trouble. Oh my. <laughs> Don't I don't even, even want like to talk about it because oh, that might just be the end of off-grid living for me. <laughs> That's it. Buying a house in town. <laughs> Going somewhere warm. <laughs> Well, we realized that the last tank of water that we thought would be our last one isn't quite enough. So we got another one. Now we're gonna put it in the cistern and I so hope this is all that we need. <laughs> uh, it's cold and wet and hungry.
leaking right at the tank. And I don't even know what to do. It's, it's three quarters full and now it's just spewing out the bottom. I think we're gonna have to get the IBC totes over here, all of the ones that we have, and just get the water into those so at least they're safe. It's not just being wasted. <sighs> this is not good. Sakes. Is it coming out of the black part? It's coming out. Oh, there's a hole in the side now, too. Where? Right in front of your face. Okay, well, pump this shit down the bank. No, we're pumping it into IBC totes. And then what? I don't know. That is an absolute bummer. I don't even know what to say right now. At least we got these three totes saved. So we think what happened is the bulkhead is a little small for the hole. And water could get out. Water will find a way if it wants to. So, and there was a crack that we had repaired, which obviously didn't didn't pass the test either. So, it's just so frustrating because it's freezing cold out. A whole day's worth of work wasted, and Greg has to go to work tomorrow. We haven't showered in days. <sighs> what a disaster. Well, you know who caught it, at least. Yeah. Yeah, thank God we didn't not notice that and bury it. <laughs> because <sighs> that would have been even worse. <sighs> Yesterday was stressful. 
I'm really grateful that our plumbing isn't leaking. I'm grateful for that. I'm not grateful that our cistern has a crack in it and our bulkhead was leaking, the bulkhead fitting. Um, I'm gonna fix that today, but I don't have the energy to crawl into a tank in the earth or into the mud. So I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna work kind of backwards. We have a laundry sink. That's kind of covered in stuff right now. But we have a laundry sink right here that we're gonna use temporarily in the bathroom uh, because we don't have our bathroom vanity bought or decided on what it's gonna look like yet. So, but we are gonna need obviously a sink in the bathroom. So we're gonna use a laundry sink, no big deal. So I'm gonna get that plumb plumbed in um, and then I think I'm gonna install the pump. We'll see, I'll probably install the pump and then I'll leave the worst for last. And that's getting into that hole again and fixing um, my mistake. There she is. This into there, I had to bring, <laughs> I had to get these uh, four by fours so that I could squeak this thing in there. Um, it'll work for now. We can, when we, when I get this water installed, we're going to have hot water in the house. And we'll be able to do dishes and shower again but even the shower we are not anywhere close to that so we picked this because i can actually screw a hose onto here and we can clean our bodies in there so oh, it's gonna be good when we don't have to do that but it's even gonna be better when we get to do that because katie and i haven't had a shower in a long time and i need a shower pretty bad Need a shower pretty bad. As we're getting closer and closer to moving in, one of the things that we really need to finish is the bathroom. I've really been struggling to figure out how I want to design the bathroom and what I want it to look like. So one of the things that I've been doing is browsing the kitchen and bathroom magazines on the Readly app. And Readly is a sponsor of today's video. If you're not familiar with Readly, it is an, a digital magazine subscription service where you can have access to over 6,000 national and international titles. So if I had been buying all of the kitchen and bathroom magazines at the stores, I would have been spending a fortune or I would have just been getting one issue of the magazine and not getting to see all of the other articles from other releases. That's a really cool feature about it is you have your monthly subscription and you have access to so many magazines whether they're up to date or the older archived versions. It's super simple to sign up to Readly. You can click the link down in our description, sign up and create an account. Then you can download the app onto your device and start browsing and reading. With Readly, you can bookmark your favorite articles to come back to a later date, save them for offline reading if you're not gonna have signal or internet. And it's super space saving and eco-friendly when you don't have the printed out copy of a magazine. You can select your interests in the app and Readly will give you personalized recommendations of magazines that you might be interested in reading. So we have a link down in our description if you want to try out Readly for yourself. You'll get two months for free and you can cancel at any time if it's not what you're looking for. And a big thank you to Readly for sponsoring today's video. Welcome to the hole. So we had two issues, two issues, um, trying to get this installed i mean when we did our when we put water in it the first issue is right here that bulkhead fitting is too small for the hole that was the one that was in like there was one the exact same size in there previously when we bought the tank and there's a very good chance that it's leaked forever but 
Packing water is my least favorite thing to do. In fact, yep, no, it's my least favorite thing to do. And uh, I don't wanna have to do it if I don't have to do it. So yeah, um, this thing can't leak. The other problem is right here, you can't see it very well because there's a bunch of dirt and stuff, but there's a little teeny crack. And I tried to heat it up and I threw caulking on it because that's how I just where my brain was at. Of course, caulking is not the right answer. I need a good seal. Caulking is not going to do nothing. <sighs> Whatever. So now I got to fix it properly. So I'm going to take some goof off and I'm going to get all the contamination off of that crack. And then I'm going to take my torch, my little teeny torch, heat up the poly ethylene polyethylene and put a patch on it so cross fingers because we need luck did i mention that i don't really uh like the snow just saying the last person that owned this tank tried to fix this with epoxy. No fire. Oh yeah. That's the way to clean it. Just heat it up and scrape off the gunk. Starting to change color a little bit. There we go. Okay, we're gonna try something. This is a bit of IBC tank. Now this is thin material. So when I heat it up, I should be able to weld with it. See, watch it'll go clear. Uh, see, there we go. It'll go clear, I don't wanna burn it. So I need that to be warm, but I also need this to be warm because I'm going to tool this in. Yeah, I'm going to tool that in like that. So, three arms would be nice. Almost. It's not working. Just make it a mess. That's all I'm fucking doing. Six. Just open it up and just making a big fucking mess. I am boiling a big pot of water and I'm gonna make a bath, hopefully. <laughs> I'm thinking with one pot of hot water and one pot of cold water, it should be enough to at least have a wash <laughs> because it's been a few days now and we are both just feeling like we need to get clean. <laughs> and yeah, this has probably been one of the hardest hurdles we've had here I think our first year we had a fair bit of frozen water but we were in the bus it was I don't know I just kind of felt like it was okay but with this there's just so much riding on it and it's just really hard being in limbo for so long because all of our like regular routines are messed up I don't have anywhere to do dishes so I don't have anywhere it's really hard to just have a cup of coffee in the morning because the dishes are dirty and I've got to try to figure out how to clean them and I got to get water from somewhere and then boil it and it's just a lot and 
So we're not eating properly, we're not cleaning up properly, we're not clean ourselves properly, and it's cold and windy and snowy out, and yeah, it's been hard. I just want to be genuine, I'm not trying to complain or anything, I just want to be genuine in showing the experience and how we're feeling and how the whole thing is making us feel. And I might be laughing now, but really, we've been pretty miserable for the past few days. So I'm really looking forward to this mini bath. Is it working? Yeah, it's just timely and this thing doesn't get quite hot enough, so I gotta use the I gotta mm -hmm. use the uh, torch. Mm -hmm. And I only have two hands. Well, we've had a break in the weather. It's windy and frigid, frigid as hell. Or frigid does, as heck. That doesn't make sense. It's frigid. It's terrible. Uh, but we've got some sun, which is really nice. And Greg has been working on welding the plastic on the cistern to fix the crack. He thinks it's good to go now. So we're gonna start pumping water in and, oh, fingers crossed that this works. We had a little uh, bath last night, about this much water last night. And I'm feeling so much better. So is Greg. Um, but we're ready to have water in the house and to not be heating the bus, so... We're done. Done with the bus. Fingers crossed. We're gonna live in the house. <laughs> Priming. I don't know if it... I don't think the check valve's working right on this thing anymore. Now, there's not a lot of footage of this. This was really stressful for me. It was terrible, terrible, terrible weather while I was working on this. And I don't do very well with failure because I can usually put my mind to something and conquer it. I'm glad that this is something that I put my mind to and conquered, but there were many swears that are not YouTube friendly that happened in this hole. And us fighting. And us fighting <laughs> twice. <laughs> Tensions were high. Life is real. Yeah. I'm super grateful that that is not leaking. Me too. Yeah, it's such a relief that so far we're good. Uh, we're gonna go get a couple more tanks of water just because we can't get everything out of those IBC totes with our pump. So we're gonna go to the creek and get a couple more tanks. Shouldn't take too long, but fingers crossed that it continues to be okay here at the cistern because <laughs> we need a win. We just need a win after this. Well, so far so good. It's been maybe 20 minutes, half an hour or something and no leaks. So very happy about that. We're going to get this last uh, tote of water in there and then I think we're gonna wrap up the video here uh, yeah it's been a long few days and the work isn't finished so we'll see you back here with installing the pump and the heater and our first actual shower in the house <laughs> we're not gonna show that part, but no maybe a little bit 
<laughs> so thanks for watching everyone and we'll catch you in the next video make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already and hit the thumbs up say hi down in the comments and we'll see you in the next video